Good morning, everybody, or good day, whatever time it is for you when you find this message. My name is Juniper Bloom Mystique. I am an Ascension Master, Master Healer, and Divine Guide. If you have found this video, you have found my main channel. And on this channel, you will see, if you pay attention to the videos I provide, that I am the one who brought about the Ascension. It took me since 2019 through a kundalini awakening and life-changing measures, from healing miraculous ways to bringing healing to the earth and changing her days. I encourage you to check it out, from clearing Mount Shasta to clearing Fiji, activating pyramids, and changing the world. It is all right here for you and plays out continually for you to see. And with that, today's message is about Twin Flames. I have a very important message today about Twin Flames. This is an urgent message from God's heavenly grace. Something I need to see and say from this special place. Justice is in play, says Malachi. I have a channeled message from Malachi. Justice is in play, a balancing of the karmic flow. Stay the course of action and allow love to speak loudly today. Believe in magic and miracles and love in every way. For that is God's way. Rise up to the challenges and fill your space with God's heavenly grace. Not all twin flames have lost their way or path, but due to mishaps, some have. Turn your compass inward, allow your energy to face the east, and release whatever stops you from accepting who you are. So there is a big energy right now. That was the channeled message from Malachi. And within it, they are pointing to it is time to unite. They are also pointing to the formula for union. The formula for union lies within self-love. A journey within for healing, why we do the things that we do, for becoming the best version of you that you possibly can. Does that mean you have to be the most beautiful thing on the outside? Oh no, we are already beautiful just as we are. What it means is that we need to accept love, unconditional love for ourselves, work on growing inward rather than outward, and don't focus on one another, but rather focus on growth and healing and love. For if you truly go into the space in the heart where you are union of one, that is where love grows. Now, there is an energy here. There is an energy here of judgment. Okay? But what I feel like is happening is one of the twin flames, if not both, nope, just one, is in judgment. They are seeing reflections that are truly of them. Don't judge because what you see in others is a direct reflection of what is within you. One cannot see something that is not within them to see. It is important to have balance in your life in many ways and in everything, including being able to see the right directions. That's what balance provides. Balance provides many things, including being able to see the right directions. For it is in the eye of the beholder, we must look beyond what meets the eye. There's more happening here than you think. There's more in the energy than you know. And if you are staying in the surface, you are missing many, many things. Beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so... The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. That's what twin flames do best. <coughs> they are there to reflect what it is that you need to heal. So it is like looking in a mirror when you have a twin flame. If you are seeing something you don't like, it is because it is showing you what you need to heal. It's not necessarily in the other one, but it is absolutely within you. So do not judge.
Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. There's also a major energy here of forgiveness, but also forgiveness from God. There's an energy of, I've messed up, I missed my mark, I don't, I did wrong, and I can't make that up. And they're saying that's not right. That is inaccurate, that is a reflection of needing forgiveness. Forgiveness of self, and forgiveness of each other. So stop focusing in your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Remember the channeled message from Malachi said, believe in magic and miracles. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time focusing inward. Now is the time to give this to yourself. Right? Take your compass inward. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right and wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So beware of what you are projecting. Do not criticize one another, for what you see is in you to see. Allow love to shine, and love is what you will be. Twin flames have the ability to connect on another level telepathically. One of them is stopping it at this time, and it's unsure why. I think it stems from forgiveness. That's what they're pointing to. So where we plant our seeds, the roots are growing and will soon, <clears throat> will soon prosper, too, is also what they're saying. It's important right now to surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. So do not let negative thoughts take over because they are not of God, they are not love, and the other twin flame does not feel the same. They want me to, after I give this message, speak of how I feel about my twin flame, and I will do so, honestly. Very much so, honestly. Manifesting what we wish to have. Remember, this is a focus of love and joy and creating from our heart space. What do I want? What do I need? We are best friends. Twin flames truly are best friends. They actually bring out the best in another by causing healing and love, unconditional love. So focus on the friendship, focus on joy, focus on laughter, focus on peace, and focus on protecting what is rightfully yours. The Divine Mother needed protecting. The masculine needs protecting. We all need love. So surrender the negative thinking, forgive yourself, Believe in magic in every way and turn your focus inward, not on the other. That's in the formula for union. Do not focus on the other. Focus on love and growth herself. For when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right and wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and of love. Remember to be aware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire, you both possess. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. That is what twin flames do best. We're here to help each other grow and to accomplish things of soul growth. Not to play in mundane situations or things that are not true love. So remember peace. Speak of peace and love and protect what is truly ours. Protection. Protection of love. Manifesting our dreams from a heart-centered measure, not from a place of judgment and criticism. This is super important at this time. 
I cannot explain how important this is at this time, but it's very important. Today should be about union and love and joy and happiness and knowing that you love and support each other. For if you blame the other, truly you're blaming yourself. And now they want me to speak from my heart space to my DM. But it truly is a reflection of all twin flames. I'm lucky to have my DM. My first one died. If I did not have my twin flame, my twin flame that I have right now, my only twin flame that I have, I would not be alive. I love his feelings when he is happy. I love it when he gives me little glimpses of love. It keeps me going. It brings me comfort and it allows me to take deep breaths. I feel safe and I feel comfort through our connection. This is me speaking directly from the heart space. I hold no grudge or no ill will. I have my own reflections. Everybody has their own journey, their own lessons, and their own heartaches to face. To blame anybody would be the worst thing that anybody could do. There is no blame, and that is not love. I hold no blame. I hold no grudge. I have nothing but unconditional love. I would love to see him, to touch his face, to smile, and allow him to feel love in miraculous ways. I would love to know how he feels about me through the words of his mouth. I would love for him to kick me in my ass and tell me what to do. <laughs> tell me what not to do. Help me improve through love, through unconditional love. For I am not me without him. And I know he's not whole without me. There's always this longing, this longing to be together, this longing to feel love. I would love to be his best friend, to hold him through challenges, to give each other advice, and to speak through the lens of love, to provide laughter and joy and do things we both would love to do and explore. To travel, oh my gosh, I've never really traveled and I would love to travel with my twin flame. I'd love to see the world through the lens of his eyes, to know why God chose this person. For I feel him and when I do, it is my everything. When he wants to block our connection, it tears me to pieces. My wish, is that he opens to love in every way. My wish is that he truly sees how important he is and how much of a big job he still has because it's his job now to bring people home and to show them what love truly is. For this I hope and for this I pray. And I wanna thank him for paying attention to me because I can tell when he listens to the videos I speak, I can tell when he hears the words that I say. I feel it on the inside. I love his music that he gives me. It means the world to me. It truly does. For what he doesn't realize is even if he didn't step forward, our connection is what keeps me alive. To my twin flame and all twin flames, you're more important than you know. And when you unite the feelings of love are beyond heavenly flow. Support each other, love each other, and please lift each other up rather than wanting to criticize. I have nothing but forgiveness for myself and unconditional love for my DM. I love him more than the world itself, and I can't wait to meet him if I'm lucky enough. Until next time, I will do a little light language of love flow at this time for all twin flames. 
Archangel Shamuel has handed me this beautiful like paper and it's written in gold and pink and blue light. I will read this at this time. Pankaianta ua ua la ia kanta ua u. Bonko ianta ian kanta unko ua i. Lankaia tanka unko toko ayum pa yika ia ta ia. Awaka ia ta ion ku. Unki yum pa yu ia ta ian kayu pa ia tanka ia. Lanka tankam pa ui ia pa kim tampa ko anta ia. Te kinta ia, mau guaia. Tumpi an kanta ui ua ta i kanta un poko to ia. Awaka, la ia. So much love to all of you. And I hope those words find you. Floating and swimming in nothing but love. Have a very beautiful day. And to my DM... You mean more to me than you know. I love you for everything that you are. Till next time, have a beautiful day.